Fighters of the Ukrainian armed forces have prevented a Russian army attack in the direction of Shakhtyorsk city in Donetsk region. The attempt of the Russian army to advance with a large number of armored combat vehicles and manpower was once again unsuccessful. Ukrainian fighters destroyed the equipment of the occupying army together with its crew members using anti-tank missile systems and kamikaze drones. Moreover, the Ukrainian tank was able to destroy the armored personnel carrier belonging to the Russians by targeting it from a close range. After the fighting, a group of Russian soldiers who survived tried to escape. China provides Russia only with economic aid and does not directly help in the war against Ukraine. And it is unlikely that this approach will change in the near future, even after North Korea sent troops to Russia. This opinion was expressed to 24 Canal by military expert founder of the Reactive Mail charity organization Pavel Narozny. He noted that China would most likely not send its troops to war in Ukraine as there are a number of factors that make this unlikely. First of all, this is due to the lack of economic motivation in China. China is one of the driving forces of the world economy and the DPRK famine is a standard situation. Perhaps the greatest motivation for North Koreans to go to war is the idea that Putin will pay for it somehow, either with money or goods. China is not interested in financial motivation, he explained. According to him, such a move would be quite risky for China, which is still trying to maintain a neutral position and geopolitical influence. He also explained that if Chinese troops were sent to fight in Ukraine, China would be subject to sanctions from Europe and the United States, which are its largest trading partners. I don't see any drivers for China to send its regular army to help Russia. Some mercenaries from China in Russia, that's unlikely," Narozny added. He also noted that North Korea is interested not only in financial gain, but also in combat experience. For China, this is not so important. The Chinese do not fight with troops. Their expansion occurs through loans. For example, they received a strategic port in Venezuela thanks to loans. War is too expensive for China, he explained. Recall recently Ukrainian intelligence reported the appearance of the first North Korean servicemen in the Kursk region where battles with Russian troops are underway. At the same time as foreign policy wrote, the deployment of North Korean army troops to Russia's war against Ukraine worries China. China has tried to offer rhetorical 
and to some extent material support to Russia without damaging its ties to the West. North Korea's actions certainly cross that line. The article says, Yeah. 